Before you can go out onto the golf course for a round of golf, there are a few things you need to do. First and foremost, you'll need to book a tee time at the golf course you'll be playing. This can be done by calling the golf shop and asking what times they have available around the time you would like to play, or by going to the course website and booking a tee time on there. When you arrive at the golf course, you'll take your clubs out of your car, and from here you will then walk to the clubhouse to find the golf shop. This is important as you need to sign in and if necessary pay your green fee and a golf cart before you play. You can also stock up on the accessories you need to have with you when you go out to play. These include a glove, tees, golf balls, a ball mark repairer, scorecard and a pencil. And last but not least, drinks and snacks. Before going out to play your round of golf, it is advisable to warm up. Whether you're playing for fun or in a tournament, it's always good to get your body and mind prepared. The best way to warm up would be to hit some balls on the practice range. You can purchase a token for a bucket of balls, take this to the machine and place the basket within the space provided. Insert the token. Voila, you have your bucket of golf balls. This is a perfect amount for you to warm up with. Everyone wants to see how far they can hit the golf ball, but when you go to the driving range, resist the temptation to immediately start ripping drivers. Yes, you can crank a couple, but swinging for maximum distance will throw you out of sync and fast. Start out by hitting one of your wedges or short irons, warming up your golf muscles with half swings. Then increase the length and speed of your swings and move on to your middle irons. Work your way up to the driver, and after you hit some balls with it, go back to a short iron or wedge. This will help you to keep your tempo and tension level in check. From the range, you will then go to the putting green, where you are looking to get the speed of the greens before you go out to play. A great way to do this is to vary the putt length. A range from 3 foot to 10 foot boosts your confidence and then over 20 foot in order to get a feel for the greens. You are now ready to make your way to the first tee. There are a few aspects to remember when you are out on the golf course. Number 1. Keep up the pace. Most golf courses ask that you finish 18 holes in 4.5 hours, but you could do better than that. One way to maintain a decent pace is to limit yourself to a certain number of strokes per hole. Number 2 etiquette. Don't lag behind. That doesn't mean you have to rush your shots or run to your golf ball. It simply means that you should just take one or two practice swings and be ready to hit when it's your turn. Number three, wait your turn. If all golfers hit at the same time, you would be a mass confusion. So knowing when to go is important. Traditionally, the person who has the best score on the previous hole has the honour and tees off first. From there, the general rule is the person furthest away from the hole hits next. Number four, Shout 4. Shouting 4 is merely a way of saying watch out and it is used when golfers hit shots astray that might possibly come close to another person on the golf course. Number 5. Take care of the course. It's hard work to make a golf course look as good as it does. Do your part to take care of it. For starters, if you're in a golf cart, find out if it is okay to take the carts on the grass or if they must remain on the cart path. Either way, never drive the cart near the putting green. On the course, if you take a divot, piece of turf when hitting a shot. You either replace it by carefully placing it in the spot and then firmly pressing down on it, or by filling the hole with some seed mix. Shots hit into the green often leave a ball mark. If you do not know how to properly fix one, ask your playing partners to show you how, and make sure you rake the bunker after you have hit. My first experience on the golf course was with my dad and my older brother at Hot Springs Village and I was about eight years old and I had some junior clubs and I was pretty much really awful. I think of the golf course at first, uh, I just like to go inside, kind of check things out. I, um, I check in and I make sure that I have the right tee time for that day. Um, and then I go and hit some balls on the range and then uh, putt some. And I usually have about 15 minutes where I just kind of stand around and kind of stay loose. And uh, then it's time to go play. The 18th at Sage Meadows Country Club is a 495 yard par 5 from the white tee markers. 
For your tee shot, you're looking to take it straight down towards the fairway bunker in front of you. This next shot is what's called a layup shot. As I cannot reach the green in two, I am going to lay up at my favourite yardage, which is 100 yards. Grow to love specific yardages, this is going to help grow your game. The approach shot into the green. Here you are looking to get as close to the flag as possible. This may not always be a case of hitting directly at the flag. Make sure you factor in outside factors such as the wind, your lie and what type of shot you are wanting to hit. Once you're on the green, it is time to analyse your putt by looking at the slopes on the green in order to determine any break and also get a feel for the speed your putt will be. Your goal is to have no more than two putts. After you've finished playing number 18, the best place to go is the 19th hole. This is the bar where you can enjoy some great food, drinks and laughter. A great way to end the day.